Very good morning children. Today let's continue with our chapter in English workbook Capsella and the Monkeys. So in our previous class we learned the story of the Capsella and the Monkeys. Hope you all have read the chapter two times and we had started doing the exercises also. Today let's continue with the rest of the exercises. So for that you can open your text and turn to page number 39. So hope you have taken the text. Let's start doing our exercises. First, we have grammar part using am, is, are. Rewrite these sentences using am, is, are correctly. So we have already learned the usage of am, is, are. We learned that these are helping verbs or we say that they are auxiliary verbs. And with the letter I, we have to use the helping verb am. We always say I am, I am playing, I am reading. And what about is? Is is used with singular words. He is, she is. And the word are is used with plural words. They are, these are. So hope the concept is clear to you. Now let's start doing the exercises. We have the first question. I is going to Mumbai next Saturday. We have to rewrite these sentences using the verbs is, am, are. So look here, it is I is going to Mumbai next Saturday. What is the mistake here? Find it out and write it. Now let's look at the second one. Sahil are going to the bookshop. Let's move on to our third question. You can turn to page number 40. We is gathering flowers. Fourth one. They am taking a taxi to the airport. Fifth, his uncle are coming from New York. And the sixth question, the child are not doing her homework. So you can pause the video, rewrite the sentences and come back once you have done it. Let's look at the first question. I is going to Mumbai next Saturday. So what is the mistake here? Here the word I and after I we have to use am. So here it is used I is. So that sentence is not correct. Instead we have to write I am going to Mumbai next Saturday. So you can rewrite this sentence I am going to Mumbai next Saturday. So let's look at the second one. Sahil are going to the bookshop. Here the word Sahil. Sahil is a singular person. So with a singular word or a singular noun we have to use the helping verb is. And it is given Sahil R. So what is the mistake? Instead of R, we have to write is. Sahil is going to the bookshop. Now let's look at the third question. We is gathering flowers. So what is the mistake? And the word we is a plural word. And always with a plural word, we have to use the auxiliary verb R. So here we have to write we are gathering flowers. So rewrite the sentence we are gathering flowers. The next one, they am taking a taxi to the airport. So look at the sentence, they am. When should the word am should be used? The helping word am should be used with the word I, I am. Here it is given they am. So that sentence is not correct. Instead we have to write they are, they is a plural word. So they are taking a taxi to the airport. Fifth question, his uncle are coming from New York. Who is coming? Uncle is coming. Is uncle a singular or plural? Uncle is singular. So which helping verb should be used? His uncle is coming from New York. So rewrite the sentence. His uncle is coming from New York. Sixth question. The child are not doing her homework. Now look here. Child are. Child is a singular word. It's a singular noun. So with a singular noun we have to use the auxiliary verb is. So the child is not doing her homework. Now let's move on to our next exercise. Prepositions of place. Underline the prepositions in these sentences. So what is a preposition? We have learnt in our English reader. Prepositions are position words. They tell us the position of a noun or a pronoun. So here we have to identify the prepositions. So let's look at the sentence. Underline the prepositions in these sentences. The first question, Mohan read a book in the library. Second, the squirrel hid between the leaves. Third, the cat is sitting on the mat. Fourth, 
The red car stood under the tree. Fifth, I stood in line behind Meena. Sixth one, Suman stood near the boat. Seventh, the bee is sitting on the floor. Eight, there is a chair between the bed and the table. So here underline the prepositions. So let's check our answers. The first question, Mohan read a book in the library. So where did Mohan read the book? He read it in the library. So which is the preposition here? It is in. So underline the word in. Second one, the squirrel hid between the leaves. So where did the squirrel hide? It hid between the leaves. So the word between is showing the position where the squirrel hid. So here the preposition is between. So underline the word between. Third one, the cat is sitting on the mat. So the word on is the preposition here. So you can underline the word on. Fourth question, the red car stood under the tree. So where is the car? The car is under the tree. So the word under is the preposition here. So you can underline the word under. Fifth question, I stood in line behind Meena. So the word behind shows the position. So you can underline the word behind. Sixth, Suman stood near the boat. So where is Suman standing? Suman stood near the boat. So the word near is a preposition. Seventh, the bee is sitting on the flower. So the bee is sitting on the flower and on is a preposition. Eight, there is a chair between the bed and the table. So the word between here is a preposition. Let's move on to the next page, page number 41. We have Choose the correct prepositions from the brackets and fill in the blanks. First question, Anish hit dash the table and the options are in, on, under. So you can write down the correct option there. Anish hit dash the table. Second, frogs swim in, near, behind water. So write down the correct option there. Sonu stood behind, in, under the gate. The hose is between, in, on, the barn. There is a fly on, between, under, the sandwich. The bird is flying in, on, under, the sky. Rena is sitting in, near, on, the door. Eighth one, the pencil is in, near, between, the box. So hope you have completed. Let's check our answers. The first one. Anish hid under the table. So you can write down the word under there. Anish hid under the table. Second one, frogs swim in water. It is not near water or behind water. Frogs swim in water. Sonu stood behind in under the gate. Sonu stood behind the gate. So write down the word behind. Fourth one, the hose is in the barn. Write down the word in. There is a fly on the sandwich. Sixth, the bird is flying in the sky. Seven, Rena is sitting near the door. And eighth one, the pencil is in the box. So write down the prepositions there. Next, let's move on to syllables spelling. Identify the syllables in these words. One has been done for you. So the word has been split into two or three and the one is done for you. So let's look at the first one. It's between and it is split B, a slash and tween. Likewise, we have to complete the rest of the words. So the second one is hamper. So how can hamper be written? It is H A M ham a slash and then per. So this is easy for you to learn the spelling and the pronunciation. So hamper, ham, a slash and per. Next word, pillow. It is pill, P-I-L-L -L slash O-W, pill O. The next one is enter. So this can be written as N, E-N, N, a slash and then ter, T-E-R. Fifth one, basket. It is bas, B-A-S, a slash and ket, K-E-T. Neighbor, it is nay, 
N E I G H a slash and then b b o u r story it is sto s t o a slash and r y and eighth one is scissors it is c s c i a slash and s s o r s so this is how the words are written here in the syllables let's move on to our next page page 42 story writing in the reader you read a story about an amazing lamp imagine you are a pencil try and write your own story you can begin like this so it's a story writing we have read the story of the amazing lamp likewise you have to imagine that you are a pencil and make a story out of it so here it's given i was happily tucked inside rena's pencil box I went with her to school and back till the day. So here the pencil is writing. Here I means the pencil. I was happily tucked inside Rena's pencil box. So the pencil here is in Rena's pencil box. I went with her to school and back till the day. So the pencil used to go with her to school and back home every day. So this is the beginning of the story. You can continue writing the story. Imagine that you are a pencil. so this is the activity for you to do and with this we finish our chapter the capsular and the monkeys we'll be meeting in the next class till then thank you